build it with you. My name is Rebecca, also known as Evil Twin 2, which you can find me as on Instagram and Ravelry. You can find our podcast group on Ravelry under I'll Knit With You with spaces. You can find show notes at I'llKnitWithYou.blogspot.com. And if you need to email me, you can reach me at I'llKnitWithYou at gmail.com. That's the third time I tried to do that because I kept forgetting one part or the other. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> I am doing excellent. I've had a fantastic two weeks. Um, so super busy, and my weekend's gonna be busy too. But I'm thrilled. It's been super fun. I did not podcast for you guys last week. It might be every other week till the end of the summer, just because there is so much going on, and it all seems since there's so much going on, I have less knitting time. So there's just not anything to show you guys sometimes, which is super lame. Um, but I have stuff to show you guys today, so I'm super excited. Uh, so let's get started. We have some new fronds. Our new fronds are Lady Fernico, who is Marlisha, I think I'm saying that right, from Virginia. We also have another person from Virginia, who is Webb Family, who is Katrina. We uh, have Monica Knits, who is Monica from Norway. We also have Kathy R, who is Kathy from Washington. So thank you and welcome. Um, if you would like to introduce yourself, go to the introduction thread and just post a little blurb. Um, if you're super self-conscious, you can literally just write the word beep. And I will go check out your projects page and see if you've hand spun anything. I will talk to you. It's okay. Because some people just don't know what to say. And it's awkward. I'm not fishing for compliments. So I appreciate anything you post. Um, and I will mention your name on the podcast because I just love talking about you guys. So those are our new fronts. Um, Let's scoot to blather because I have got stuff to talk about with you guys. Um, I was gifted two patterns in the past two weeks, which is crazy. Um, I've never been gifted a pattern until the last podcast, and now I keep getting gifted patterns. So I feel like when I get paid again for my next paycheck, I'm going to have to gift some patterns to people. It's going to have to happen. Um, so, I don't know who yet. I don't know. Whatever. I just need to. I need to do it. I need to pay it forward. Um, so I was gifted in pattern. I was gifted leaves of change, which is beautiful, by Web Family, and I was gifted the Wingspan booklet by L O'Neill Teaches. And I know it's L O'Neill Teaches because it's her first letter of her first name, and then last name, and then profession, which is a really smart way to do things. I would be our Connor editor. So. Cut it or that's what it would look like. Fine. Um, so thank you both of you very, very much. Those are now like way high in my queue and I really cannot wait to knit both things. The wingspan I was looking at like the night before I got gifted it, so it's super crazy. Um, and someone just added a variation to it that I thought was really, really pretty. So I'm really excited to check out those patterns. Thank you very much. Um, so Last Friday, when I wasn't recording, I was hanging out with L. O'Neill Teaches. Um, she is part of the Harry Potter Knit Crochet House Cup. She is in House Slytherin, and I am in House Gryffindor, but I hang out in the Slytherin house sometime anyway. This is so nerdy. Um, but she had just gotten a spinning wheel and was wanting to learn how to spin, and you know, sometimes YouTube videos just aren't enough to teach you. You need someone to give you hands-on experience, you need to touch it, you need them to explain it with their spinning wheel. So, we met up at, she drove down here and met me at a local coffee shop, and we just spent several hours spinning, and I thought, you know, if she gets it really fast, I'll go home and record a podcast, but it kind of worked out better that I had time to sit and, and help her, and I think you guys can appreciate that sometimes you just need to be somewhere else. Uh, so that was so awesome, and it was really great to meet her, and I feel like we're going to be friends. So I love new friends, and it's awesome. So, um... That Saturday, I did my first babysitting by myself. You're thinking, Rebecca, you are old enough to babysit by yourself. But I just never had cousins or anything that was in the age that I would babysit. Everyone was always my age. So it never really worked out. So I babysit my boyfriend's sister's kids for the first time. And I'm not a very good authority figure. So I devised this huge, intricate story that Santa had said they were really good this year, they needed some presents, but they had to be good on that day, otherwise they weren't going to get them. 
And so when they were good, they got a little star, and there were four little lines with five dots, one for each, five stars equals this, equals that prize. So one was ice cream, one was a mystery box, one was a gift card to Toys R Us, that wasn't very big, um, and then another one was a gift for where they were staying that night, which was my boyfriend's house. And um, he has a huge driveway that's really so that's really well paved, so they got chalk to play on the driveway. And um, their mystery box was like a foam pirate sword and some princess gear, so that was pretty fun. Um, we did so much stuff. Turns out the mall near me has a bouncy, uh, um, a little like play area for kids. You pay like it's like a business. Um, you pay like six bucks to get into and it's all these inflatable things like an inflatable maze and like an inflatable jungle and an inflatable you know ball pit and like slides and all sorts of stuff. So they just went in there and wore themselves out and then we have like a really small uh, science center in there so we did that and then we had lunch and then we went to this place called Pirate Pete's, which is kind of like Chuck E. Cheese's, but less um, things to play on and more arcade games. Um, so by that point, they had gotten all the stars for all their stuff. So afterwards, we went to Toys R Us and ice cream, and they got chalk, and it was super fun. I think it went really well. No one got hurt or cried or injured. Because whenever someone was bad, I had this little text tone on my phone. I would play it, and I'd be like, it'd be like, Santa's texting, Santa's texting. And then they'd be like, oh, Santa, what's Santa say? And I'd be like, well, Santa says that he need, you guys need to get your act together because he's going to have to ask me to take away Star. And guys, I don't want to do that. I don't want to kind of see that you're being bad. And so, excellent, excellent con. Um, on Sunday, I met back up with them to take the kids over to, back to their house. Uh, they stayed with Andrew for the night because I was exhausted. <laughs> Um, but they just got a pool recently, so we swam all day, and I am so stinking sunburnt. I don't know if you can tell on my forehead, I might have put enough makeup on for it to reflect, um, but I am crazy sunburnt, and my arms are sunburnt, and I sunburn really easily, and we were in the pool all day long, which was fun, but now I am super burnt. <laughs> um, so the next week went really well, nothing very exciting, but today, on Friday, the 18th, I think. So today on Friday I met with Candace31, I think is her name. She lives um, in a town very close to me. So we met up at the same coffee shop that I had been spinning at the week before and had coffee and knit and just talked and hung out. And we were very equally nerdy and I'm excited because it's really fun to hang out with you if you're watching. Um, I hope we get to do it again sometime. I had a great time. Uh, and the person who owns that coffee shop is so sweet and last week um, her baker had just quit, so she brought us scones for us to try uh, when I was spinning. And this week she brought us brownies, like, free of charge, which was so sweet of her. Because uh, free baked goods are always good, and it's delicious. So if you're ever in Marion, go to La Java and get some coffee, because she gives... She just... It's good coffee place. It's very nice. And she's very welcoming to knitters. Um, while we were there, they took our picture, because they're trying to make some, like, I don't know if they're signs or ads or Facebook or what... She said that they're going to Photoshop our faces out, so we'll see how that works out. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye out. Um, I said out like six times just now. But um, of us knitting and one of me fake drinking coffee. And I'll have to show you what I was guys, what I was working on, guys, but you're going to have to wait just a second. But it was an awesome time, and I had a really great time meeting people both this Friday and last Friday. You were all fantastic. Um, I hope I get to see both of you again. Yay, new friends. I love making friends. Um, if you're ever going to be in my area, please send me a PM. I would love to meet with you and hang out. So, do that. Do it. I live in Southern Illinois, and I'm not afraid to say where, because you can see it on my RAV uh, profile page where I live. I talk about it all the time. Not ashamed. <laughs> um, so, while I've been sunburnt, to back up a little bit, I it looked awful. I had like raccoon like white here and then like everything else was just red. So here's a picture of me um, with makeup and here's a picture of me without makeup. Like huge difference. And then I did this half and half face so you can kind of see like what it looked like both ways. I was having a little too much fun. Um, but 
because my friends weren't believing how sunburned I was because you couldn't tell because of my face. So this is what I put up so people would be like, okay, she is crazy sunburned. And I was, I was crazy sunburned. I think that's all the bother I have. So let's move on to Blobbins because I have some stuff to show you guys. So in Blobbins, before we get to the actual spun stuff, um, I got, this should really be a mustache. This should really be a mustache. We'll move that to mustache. Okay. Um, for Blobbins, I finished my tail and tendril. Let me zoom in so you can see it. This is my tail and tendril hand spun that I have been working on. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it or not. It is a true four ply. So it is so stinking round. Can you guys see how like circular that is? Um, uh, this is probably a worse than ish weight. I need to measure it for sure, but I actually wouldn't show it to you guys, so I'm not worried about it. Um, you can check it out on my project page. I should have it updated by now by the time this is posted. Sorry, you can't see this as I'm wrapping it up. Uh, it turned out really, really great. I did have a little trouble for applying because um, two of my plies wanted to like ply themselves and then ply everything else, so. Uh, but I think it turned out all right. I mean, it's a pretty sturdy looking yarn, and it's not too, too, too thick. Cause I was worried my four ply would be super thick, but this turned out all right. I'm really proud of how it worked out. Um, I did run out of two, so the end of it is a two ply, and most of it is a four ply, which is weird. I, don't, I might cut it off and use it as like a mini skein, which would totally makes sense to me. So I hope it makes sense to everybody else. Um, but I'm really proud of this. This is for my OWL or my owl in the Harry Potter knit crochet house cup, which those. I'm spending four different skeins of yarn and they need to all be done by the end of this month. So I have one left and I will show you where I'm at on that. So I have been spinning um, yarn geek fibers. I actually have it right here. I can show you. Oh, I gotta stretch. Um, this is what this is what the unspun fiber looks like. It's kind of multicolored and it has a really pink sheen to it. I don't know if you're catching that on there. I've already divided all my fiber. I had to, I'm doing a, another four ply. So this one is a cable ply. Yes. Not a chain ply. Very confusing. So a cable ply is when you take two individual plies and you ply those together. And you take two other individual plies and ply those together and then ply those two plies together. <laughs> it's a little confusing. But, um, so you also, you spin your tingles clockwise. You ply counterclockwise, and then you do your second ply clockwise, and that way your spin won't be too ridiculous. So let me show you this one. This is Yarn Geek Fibers. I think it's called Happy Place, or maybe that's what I named it in my Ravelry thing, I'm not really sure. But um, I'm having a lot of fun spinning it. This is my first of four done. Um, I haven't had much time to spin this week. Well, I haven't had much time to spin since I finished my four ply, but I'm hoping that this coming week will just be an excellent time for me to spin um, because I need to get this done pronto tanto but I've been working on some other pretty exciting projects which is why this isn't done yet but um, it is Tour de Fleece so this was part of Tour de Fleece and this was part of Tour de Fleece I've not been getting as much time to spin as I thought I would um, I didn't realize how often I was away from my wheel until I started doing Tour de Fleece and now I see that I'm not always with my wheel um, I get home sometimes and I'm tired or whatever, it just doesn't work out. But I'm going to be trying to do more spinning soon. ASAP! Now to my whips, my works in progress, my woes and my woes. Oh, my woes! My woes. Sorry, why I keep saying that? So, first off, let me show you my omelet shawl. Um, and I did put markers in these so you guys could see where I was the last time I talked to you. So here's my omelet shawl now. And... Where's it at? This marker right here is where I was at. So just that little tip on the very end is where I was at. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Um, the last time you saw it. Now, I've been seeing a lot of posts, um... Let me zoom out a little more so you can see more of it. I've been seeing a lot of posts about this omelet shawl that says it looks like wet noodles until you block it. And wet noodles would be um, just a lumpy mass of things. 
I'm already in the last chart. This looks way too small to me. So I need to kind of double check and see what's going on. But I've been following along very specifically. So I don't know how I would have messed anything up. But it does look really tiny. But maybe a little block out. I don't know. Maybe this last chart is going to take a whole lot longer than it looks like it's going to take. I'm not really sure. But I really like the way it looks. So I'm kind of okay with however it turns out. As long as it's long enough for Quidditch. It needs to be 450 yards. So half a skein. I, I might go away this afterwards and see if it if it fits those requirements already, which would make me feel so much more comfortable, because then I would know that it's going to be okay. Twinkle, 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 sorry. This is what I was knitting on today when I went to the coffee shop. It's my hitchhiker, which I have been ever faithfully working on. So here's how far I was before, okay? Let me just zoom out. Ignore my messy apartment. This is where I'm at now. It still reaches from side to side, but it is so much bigger. I guess I didn't realize how big it was until just now. Um, I have lots of teeth. I will count them really quick for you. Um, I have 29 teeth, so I am 13 away from being done. I might actually have enough yarn. I thought I was going to be like way short. Um, but it's turning out great. Fantastic even. I did make a slight adjustment. I, um, in the thing, in the pattern, it says bind off five to make the teeth. I bind off six because I'm a rebel. And I wanted my yarn to go a little farther. Um, so one stitch can make more of a difference than you think. Let me zoom back in so I can see you guys. There I am. Um, but that is going so, so great. And I am using, um, if you want to know what yarns I'm using and what size needles I'm using, you can always go to my project pages. I link to them in my show notes. Because I forget and I would tell you, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, I think the yarn for that one is Lang Tosh. And I think the yarn for my shawl is B and T or B and H. An Etsy shop. Both of them make beautiful yarn. That's turning out beautifully, so check them out. Um, as far as defeated foes, I don't have anything to show you. I think I showed you one navy hexy puff last week. If I didn't, just imagine it. It's a navy hexy puff. It's not exciting. But it's all I've gotten done. I've been working so much. I guess this is kind of an FO, but I showed it to you already, so it doesn't count as so much. Whatever. Um, what makes me happy? No, sorry. Whoops. Um, and now for a little mustache. So when Turtifly started, I might have seen an ad and might have bought some stuff and might have mentioned it already on the podcast, I don't remember. Um, it's from Gritty Knits. It's hand-dyed comb top and Cordell uh, cross fiber. So I bought these two. This one's Agony. And this one is Aqua. They are two A names. How pretty they are. Um, and the reason that I bought them was to ply them with another yarn I already had. So I have these two, and I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take this one and spin it out into a single, and spin this gray, um, what are you? CVM Merino, four ounces, they're both four ounces, um, and spin them together because that would be so beautiful. And then I think I'm going to take this tealy blue color and take this art bat and ply it with that. Because I thought about doing the maroon, that's normal, that's originally why I bought it was to ply with this, but that's too much of the same colors. It should have a whole different color. So I think I'm going to do this. I think that'll work. Here, I can untie this and show you guys the whole bat, so you can see the insides and stuff. And you can tell me what you think. Because there's a lot, like, the inside is all pink, and the outside has a lot of this blue. Isn't that so pretty? Pretty art bat. Um, and this is 4.4 ounces from Hello Pearl.
I think that would work. But see, now when I do it, I like second guess myself. Like maybe this should really go with this color, and it should just accent it. I don't know. You guys tell me your opinions. Um, I really could go either way. I'm not like super tied to either one. <laughs> uh, but I did buy them to be like. I call them secondaries because you go, you have your main exciting yarn with all of its multicolors that you then spin this with. Um, I also considered using my American Dream fiber with this teal. Um, if you want to see that, you can go to my fiber page. Check it out. Um, but this teal has a lot of potential. I buy stuff like this all the time in this color type of way. So I'm sure I can find something that it would be perfect with. It's a little rough. Sounds good. I'm excited to work with this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just mm, fondling my fiber over here. That might be the episode name. Fiber fondling. Fondling fiber. I don't know. Um, we are just breathing through this. What makes me happy this week? What makes me happy is meeting new people at a coffee shop. Um, that was super awesome to meet both of you. And again, just thanks for meeting me. It's so sweet. Being gifted patterns. What? You guys are amazing. Stop it. I can't wait to knit all of those things. Um, so awesome. My hitchhiker was a gifted pattern too, so y'all are so sweet. Uh, number three that makes me happy is surviving babysitting because I, was, I wasn't I was sure. Number f yeah, four. <laughs> Number four would be um, surviving my sunburn. My boyfriend also got sunburn, and he tans usually, and so he has been the biggest bliss. But it's adorable, and um, we both were miserable and bought aloe together. And he doesn't try and like hug me and stuff because he understands that it, it hurts. So it's kind of been nice to have some sympathy. Um, at the same time, someone who like is literally going through what you're going through. But you know, just what it is. And number five, um, the thing that makes me happy is birthdays. My dad's birthday is coming up and my grandma's birthday is today. And my friend Jessica's birthday was a couple of days ago. And I'm just very happy that all my friends are having birthdays, friends and family are having birthdays. So if you're having a birthday, happy birthday to you. And if some of my family or friends are watching, happy birthday to you. And I hope everyone has fantastic birthdays even if they're not until 12 months from now. So. Um, just a reminder to strut your puffs and the second person who won um, in the weird story contest the person who won the book has not contacted me yet so please do that so I can mail everything out um, go watch last week's episode it's nearish the end but before all the Harry Potter stuff I'll give you a hint um, but I think that's all I have for this week I know that seems really short I don't know how short it's going to be once I get in there and look at it Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great time watching the show, and I hope the rest of your weekend is fantastic. Um, I was planning to spend all day tomorrow, but now I'm filming a wedding, which is nice because it's a little bit of income. And then Sunday I'm going to a St. Louis Cardinals game for my dad's birthday, so that'll be awesome. So if your weekend was as good as mine, and remember, if you are sunburnt and tired or dehydrated, it doesn't matter. I will knit with you. Bye, guys.